Hi everyone, I'm Rachel, and today I'll show you how to color jellyfish using the Color Therapy app. This is a quick and simple tutorial for beginners. One nice thing I like about the Color Therapy app is that they have preset color palettes that you can use. This underwater scene was colored using the Lullaby palette, which I love for this image because it has a fun and childlike feel to it. To find the image, click Classic, go under Animals, and it's the second image. So let's go ahead and open up our color palette. Under Basic, scroll over to the Lullaby palette. And we'll choose seven colors from there. So make sure it's set to Gradient and choose the first turquoise color. Then choose that yellow and orange color. There's a nice dark turquoise color. We'll also use this light turquoise to a pale orange. And then there's a pink to a beige pink color. There's a really nice purple to turquoise. And last, we'll choose the bright turquoise to orange gradient. So what we'll do first is choose that light turquoise color. Make sure it's set from light to dark, so it's lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. Tap to fill the background, and we'll also fill in all of the spaces in between all of the jellyfish tentacles. Next, choose that yellowish orange gradient, and we're going to tap to fill this little, this first little jellyfish here. So go ahead and just tap to fill all of his tentacles and his head. You can also tap the little spots on his cap. Now, since it's a really bright and bold color, we want to use it throughout the image in a, a very balanced way. So I'll put a little here and then let's bring the color over into another jellyfish. So on the far right side, tap to fill and just leave the little cap around his head. Just leave that blank for now. And then I'll tap to fill in the shell. And then I'm also going to color in these little coral things here. Now, so I'll color in the main jellyfish with that pink color. So it's the lighter to dark gradient and just tap to fill. Again, as we're creating balance, let's go ahead and tap to fill this other jellyfish here. And if you miss any white spots, make sure to resample the color next to it that it's supposed to be and fill it in. Let's go back with that pink color and I'll also color in the starfish. Now let's use that turquoise to purple gradient and tap to fill in this jellyfish here. And the last little jellyfish, I'll use that really bright orange to turquoise gradient and tap to fill. Now for the bubbles and the eyes, let's use the really dark turquoise gradient. Set that to radial so it's light on the inside and go ahead tap. You can also put it on the spots for the pink jellyfish. And then go ahead and fill in the centers of the coral pieces as well. Using that same color, set that gradient from a light to dark. And we'll color in all of the hats. So by coloring all the hats the same color, it makes them look like they go along together. Last but not least, we'll use one more color for the caps of the jellyfish and the rocks. So use the pale peach to green gradient and go ahead and tap to fill. Apply the same color to the rocks as well as the last shell. Okay, so we're ready to add the effects. So go under the effects tab. First of all, let's get rid of the lines. So it gives it a much more cartoony feel to it. And then under effects, click glossy. And here's the final picture with the glossy effect added to it. By taking away the line and using this effect, it makes the jellies look translucent and shiny, like they would be in the ocean. Using one palette and balancing the colors out around the picture helps to create harmony. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.